Hi guys, this is Deval Bunis with our video about snowboarding. For first time, we went to Les Arcs in France to have our first snowboarding experience. So Sebastian and me are here to give you a little bit of advice what you need and what you don't need to take for your snowboarding first trip. Well, we're going to be starting off with the um, the gloves. So you want to first get gloves that are like like you want to get them like like not like a leathery like the ones like you don't so the the snow don't come inside. This is the gloves for the snowboarding, yeah. When when you are doing when you are basically right in the trials, uh, going to the to to the to the runs, yeah. So yeah. And you see, because a lot of times that when you, when you don't when you put them when you put them on, and you don't fasten them, you can see they have a little bit of space here. So you want to get them tight here, so you, you want to get them tight on. For not get the snow inside. Yeah, to not get the snow. Yeah, we have that. I mean, you can get good quality gloves from different places. I got these ones from Costco, and uh, we're here in the UK. And these gloves cost me only like, I would say six, seven pounds, but they were brilliant. I used them in this first trip and I love it. They were nice and warm. And also the good thing about these gloves is that give you space to use wristbands, wrist protectors, sorry. Yeah. That's something that we highly recommend to use because unfortunately on the, was it the fourth or fifth day? Fourth. Fourth day, uh, uh, when I was feeling really confident and I was so much into my snowboarding, uh, that was in my fourth lesson. I was really learning so well and I was trying to go through, through, through their yeah. flying. I just went overconfident and I didn't have the wrist protectors. So these gloves are highly recommended. So gloves, gloves for the snowboarding. So that's one of the things we need. Now, I would like to talk, now that we were talking about the gloves, about the wrist protectors. So the wrist protector has a thing we have, it has a metal bar here, if you can see that. How do you use them? It's a like, metal yeah. metal thing here. So you want to put your hand through there like he has, and then strap the thing around his wrist so it goes like that and you're safe and you have the still, the metal bit. It's like a metal protector, yeah. it's really hard. So basic, basically when you when you snowboarding, normally you it's only, I think it's two ways you can have a fail in the floor. One is have a face plan, when it's when you catch the edge of the, no uh, no board to the front and you just face plan the first thing you send to protect yourself is your hands so yeah too. or if you go backwards you put your arms like that and that's what happened to me so highly recommend get to some of these is this is a must have for uh, for your first snowboarding trip isn't it yeah right now do you want to go with the thermals yeah. that the, what, so, what you use on that so my thing is that you put you you put your top on like like your fleece or something on. I had a fleece, so so you first you put your thermal tops. I got these Adidas, I think from yeah. Adidas. And we go, thermal, yeah, we had Newcastle. Yeah. Thermal on the tops. So then you want to put this on first. Then after that you want to put a fleece on. And the pants as well. And then these thermal pants. So from the thermals, I think we use four thermals. So for the thermal for thermals. Uh, Sebastian used four of them during the six days we were doing snowboarding. I mean, children don't tend to sweat too much, but he was using thermal top, pants. thermal pants. We'll that's a white pants and we we'll had a blue pants. Yeah, you can buy them from Decathlon for probably, it was like three pounds yeah. per top and for uh, pants. So highly recommend to go to Decathlon in the UK. Also in, in France, we saw some Decathlon, so you can find them in there. Mm -hmm really cheap, don't spend a lot of money because you don't need to spend massive amount of money uh, getting the thermals. So you got your thermals, also the uh, socks, no? Socks, because this is for the boots. So this is that is special for, for snowboarding, isn't it? Because, yeah, because if you get, your, when you need a thick, just socks, yeah? Because your boot is like, it's like a round place, but like when, when it's like, when you go deep, you need a sock. That, that keeps the space and makes it tight. If 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 it's not really tight enough, you, you'll probably be tripping a lot in the thing. And also, if you hire your boots for snowboarding, then probably I will we suggest to do that for your first trip. Don't buy just yet because you don't know if you're going to enjoy it. I mean, we love it. 
pues no everybody, you okay. No everybody um, enjoyed the first trip, you know. So we recommend you to. You remember what happened to you? You didn't. Oh, you okay. didn't have them when they hire people. You know when you hire equipment. People yeah. come to hire, so you so they get you so they get your boots and see what to. So if, if they feed you. And I I didn't put these socks on. And you have I these cool ones. Not these. <laughs> so then, so then I have. Then when I put them on for one day, I have like a black brown <laughs> thing on me. Yeah, because he didn't put this to try the boots. So make sure if you haven't use this before putting your boots for 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 higher. Okay. So next we're gonna move on to the balaclava. You balaclava. think? Yeah. Do you use them? I I. Neck, I don't think you really need it because you have the uh, knock. Neck warmers that you can use. Ah, you can, you can use neck warmers. The thing is with the neck warmers, they could be very thick, you know. With this one, just try it and put it on so you can show the... So look, so look... The, yeah. It's two ways to use it, no? So, yeah, so, so you can just put it on like this. That keeps the thing... That keeps the thing here. Try the helmet so, so you, you can, can... Put the helmet on, so... So you have this here, so you have your thing there. Protect, protect your neck, yeah. And put you, it on, so... See, and your ears don't get cold and stuff. And yeah, then you put it's your very helmet comfortable. on. Yeah. You you feel much better because you have your neck on, and then you have your. I highly recommend as well using your goggles because I've when I didn't put me goggles on, loads of snow sprayed on me when I fall. So just put your goggles on like this, and then you're just ready to go. Yeah. Snowboarding. Yeah, that's good, man. What about ah uh, with the balaclava? Just take the helmet, step. With the balaclava, the other thing is you can. If you want to use a neck warmer, you just push it back here, and, and you got your protected. Mm -hmm. Right. Next one, uh, the jacket. Uh, yeah, let's let's well, carry with the jacket. My jacket here. It's the thing here. Well, it's not mine, but yeah, uh, one of our fr good friends lent us uh, the jackets because they could be quite expensive. But we recommend you to spend a little bit more in the jackets because. For children, it's a bit more difficult because they keep growing. But for adults, I recommend you to spend some good money in a jacket because if you're going to continue snowboarding for many years, you, the, you will need it. And what... what is... So you have... Because when you go snowboarding, you have a kind of card. That's the, of lift pass. Yeah. So you can use the outlift that takes you up to the mountains. You can come back down. And that's this thing here. And it says you, it should say you Say your name here, and that that will probably go. If you have one, I highly recommend that you could put it into your pocket here, so because you can just put your thing here. So you like to it's pass. Be a scan it's here. like when you go to the metro. It's similar to when you go to the metro, isn't it? So you just, you just scan it so you can go through quicker because all the time you will get a lot of people behind you, like people in a ski or just snowboard, snowboard. isn't it as well? But people in the ski tend to, tend to move quicker than us in the snowboards, so it's good to have it in a handy pocket, isn't it? In the, most of the jackets go one in here and the, in here, or if not, in your pants. So what else about the jackets? So nice yeah, and good one. Pockets, yeah. and then if you How many pockets do you use? I mean, you use a lot for the sunglasses, no? Five, six. The, I used, I had six. I had six pockets, and if you if you carry a phone, I recommend the pockets from inside, because from here you put your stuff all sort, and it's hard to grab it. So you want to just put them on your on your inside pockets. What about some glasses? Do you use some glasses? I, I didn't use them, but I use them. I use most of the time the goggles. Yeah, yeah. Well, when you're eating and it's really sunny, you can just put these on while eating stuff. So I, if I'm not using them, I just put me in my pocket, and then yeah. And don't forget this one, very important for your of lift pass. Be careful, guys. If you lose this card, it's really expensive to get. I, I don't know if you can get one, but basically this is why you pay 200 and 300 pounds because it's your of lift pass for all the week. So so just be careful not to lose it. It's important to keep it in a good place, right? Okay. Yeah, you want to probably after this we need to show the pants, no? Mm -hmm. I bought for Sebastian some good quality snowboard pants. I bought them from Sport Direct. Uh, the quality was really good. If uh, just pass it over. Yeah, I've got that right now. Let's get rid of these jackets. So that's it. So look, so here's my pants right here. We bought these from uh, a Sport Direct. Sport Direct. They have two pockets here. Lift it up so they can see it. 
We have two pockets here. There are one, two pockets. And then that's all we have. This is these, extremely important. These straps that your pussy use these because if you don't put them on like it's that, no. you, you, the snow is going to start wrapping up in here. <laughs> and you're going to have a flipping ice cube on the top. <laughs> that's right, yeah. And also this is well for the going that goes yeah. inside the boots. Uh, there's no boring clothing. Normally it's very uh, it's like bright colors, and it's because if you have if you for example you you fall, the people who is coming behind can see you easy. So it's very important to wear something colorful that people can see and more if you're a beginner, because we we fit quite a few bits yeah. and so uh, the people more experienced tend to how you call that when they like spray snow. Spray snow on you. So they do it obviously because they they're more experienced and they want to just be cheeky, you know. But this is very important, uh, just a jacket or pants that people can s see you in the, tr in, in the runs, yeah? So this is the jacket I was using. So again, a good North Face jacket that, again, was lent by one of my good friends who goes snowboarding every year. That's a North Face jacket and I think it was co co cost him like 300 pounds or something like that. But they could be expensive, but this jacket was brilliant, so I recommend you to check it out. Apparently, in April, May, when there's no board season pass in, in yeah, Europe, yeah. you can check online and probably you get some good offers to get good prices for these jackets. Oh, right, so jacket, we got jacket, we got the pants, that's the men's pants for, for, for adults as well. Again, look, so we're out because you sp when you're learning, you spend a lot of time in your bomb. So if you find online something you can wear under your pants because you will be basically hitting the, the floor all this a lot because when i'm doing when because there's a this is there's the a hill. thing called a uh, heel edge it's where you snowboards flat on the ground here then you have to stay upwards so you don't go straight down and that's where <sighs> i went to i lean to back and, and you keep falling in your all your bum. the time and then i had ice all over where the straps are now goggles goggles and and helmet I will say depends the depends what you what, what you want to like what you can afford. But the the, the helmet from Sebastian cost twenty pounds in Decathlon. The gold goes was fifteen pounds. This one is a more expensive helmet because it has bends, so because it gets quite hot. I we know you are in the snow in the mountains, but it gets yeah, really really hot and you boil. So I will say for the first trip, if you want uh, rent one higher one, but uh, personally I think a helmet. It's a bit hygienic if you get a, your own helmet. This helmet is really, really good. So, and the goggles, goggles are really important as well. Um, this, this one with the... Um, the thing about... Oh, this is mad. Because uh, I was going to say, because um, on, on the snowboard thing, you, you're probably going to have this stuff here. Because once, once my friend had went snowboarding and then he didn't have the stuff here, so you could still see the marks on it. All right, okay. That's good. Right, okay. Now, something that probably I will say is important, but probably you will realize is a yeah, hat. A hat. When you, when you, normally you snowboard from 9 in the morning or 8.30 in the morning, 9 o'clock, we'll say, to around about lunchtime. After lunchtime, you are so tired that you want to go, you want to just take off your helmet, take off your jacket. So that's what is important to have a good fleece a good under a um, thermal yeah, yeah, and a good hat. This hat we bought it from Amazon. It came it came the hat yeah, with the with the neck warmer and it's amazing. This is really good and it cost me only like uh, nine pounds. I bought one for Sebastian, one for me. So I show you. You just get like because you've got two uh, ends two types. Here. It's like fluffy and a, a yeah, wood thing, isn't put, it? You want to make sure that the one that has the most here, you want to put out the front. Let's put it on. So you got this thing here like that. So even if you use using the the warm here for the neck, it's still good. But now, if you finish snowboarding, you just take this off, yeah. No, you can just put, your hat put your hat on. But look, this is brilliant, and you can use it also if you're going out in the night time after the lessons or after you finish snowboarding. You and if it's it if it's really cold, you can just cover it like this. So I will put. That's it. It's quite good. I go. It comes for children and for adults. And from the same company, you get some good um, quality gloves. Thank you for giving my hat. <laughs> some good quality gloves. 
So I put, I'm going to put the links in the description uh, for guys if you want to check it out and see what equipment we use. Again, uh, I will say for your first trip, do, just don't spend a lot of money in, in equipment, you know, like hire the, hire the snowboard, hire the boots if you, yeah. if, if you want, but just try it. Probably the snowboard's about, about I, I think our friend John got it about 200, 200 pounds or 300 pounds. That's why you pay. Yeah, that's what they got, and then you start putting wax on it. Because if you make yourself one, well, if you get one, buy one. You have to fair, maintain you it. Can get, it's, you can put your own wax on it and put all the wax so you can make it better and slip Ah, it. right, that's a good point. Yeah, probably if you hire, they won't look, they, they will give you some wax, safe. Yeah. See if it's no board, but probably it's not going to be as good if you have your own one. But again, I will say this will be for the second trip. Hopefully, we'll go again next year. That's our plan. So we will post another video for the next trip. So yeah, guys, this is just to come oh, to the end of our video. Yeah. I mean, uh, we're going to do another video where we show a little bit what we did in, in, in Les Arcs in France. So please support us. Give a like to, to the video, subscribe, and... We'll see you in the next video, yeah? Bye. Ciao, papito! Yeah. <laughs>